3D printed food. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the novelty of it. And there are some interesting potential aspects when you're talking about 3D printed, I guess, meat would be one of the things of mm -hmm. maybe trying to recreate or simulate the physical structure of it. I do think that a whole lot of it is just novelty. Granted, you can make a lot of money off of novelty, but as far as like somehow making food better, I'm not sure that 3D printing offers anything other than presenting it in a new cool way. There's a restaurant in DC right now that's offering uh, 3D printed uh, food. But um, for some of them, what they do is it takes stem cells mm -hmm. from the animals and try to like simulate the growing of the stem cell inside the animal to form the flesh that you end up eating. In a sense, it's like growing, <laughs> growing meat outside of the animal. But none of that process mm -hmm. requires it being 3D printed. Yeah, that's true. One of the outfits that just got FDA approval for selling lab-grown meat, like it was a big thing. And they were talking about 3D printing it too. And my whole question was, why? Because the 3D printing is not an integral part of like the growing of it, at least mm. in my understanding, that it's more so you're using it as a bioreactor setup to stimulate these stem cells into growing and reproducing. And then it seemed like what they were using the 3D printing for was to then try and recreate macro structures that you would find in the actual uh, substrate of whether it's like a steak or chicken breast or whatever, because you mm -hmm. have the different types of material that are in there, whether it's muscle tissue or connective tissue or stuff like that. That's more of a presentation setup for it as opposed to the actual process of being able to do lab grown meat, which I think is going to be a huge thing. And they probably are doing it. But my first, first thought was y'all just need to be making a ton of chicken nuggets. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's basically just they ground yeah. up whatever is left anyways. You can't uh -huh. tell what it is. That's a huge market potential. Like there's the, the ethical benefits of you're not actually having to kill something or raising it just to then eat it. But there's huge sustainability benefits too because you're using like 90% less water. You're using a whole lot less energy. You don't need nearly as much land. It just makes the whole process much more efficient. And it also makes the process safer too because you're talking about producing this stuff in a perfectly controlled lab environment to where you're much less likely to have things like salmonella or any of these other viral or bacterial outbreaks that we've seen spread through the way in which our current industrialized food system works, which isn't always about safety. It's always about profit and then kind of maybe safety later. 